All right, now I'm going to demonstrate mandibular right posterior teeth of the lingual aspect where it is the hardest for most right-handed people uh, right here. And then this is going to be a little bit different from other areas. You're going to be sitting around 10 o'clock and uh, you're going to be focusing kind of across cross arch away from the quadrant you're walking on right here. Extend your instruments long and then look over, lean forward, lean forward so you get the direct vision. You still have a mirror. Usually you're going to have a mirror to retract the tongue, but you're going to um, look into, into the lingual surface directly. Then you're going to start from the distal surface going to the mesial all the way in and then come out. You can do the distal. Make sure the terminal shank is parallel. Okay. And then distal lingual line angle. Okay. And then distal. As you're coming to more premolars, you have to change your fulcrum position more closer to the teeth. Go into the distal. And then straight distal, up and down. Distal lingual line angle, up and down. And then lingual into interproximals. So we have finished the premolars. Now I'm going to demonstrate universal curettes of mandibular right uh, posterior teeth of the lingual aspect. Um, now universal for posterior use, you have to use uh, two cutting edges. So straight distal surface, you can start from the distal line angle and then make the terminal shank parallel and then V to the D, distal and go up and down like this. Then come start again from the distal lingual line angle and goes towards the mesial. But now you're using the primary cutting edge, other cutting edge like this. Okay, then distal, up and down, lingual, slightly oblique, and then coming around to the mesial and vertical. Distal is vertical. Terminal shank is like parallel. Lingual. Going into proximal. And vertical stroke again. Okay. Distal lingual line angle, vertical strokes. Okay. Then straight lingual to the mesial vertical up and down.